Right. I'm sorry. I've been having a lot of random thoughts. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Ready? Ooh. Yeah. Three, two, one. What's up, guys? This is the Worship Leader Podcast. I'm Terry. And this is Josh. What's going on, y'all? Uh, as y'all can see today, we have uh, we have a bit of a a spread in front of us. We got we're gonna do this uh, mukbang style. We're gonna so we're just kind of gonna kind of talk freestyle a little bit today and eat. Uh, I was talking to Josh. Uh, and we were saying what we wanted to do this episode, and we're like, you know what? It'd be good just to take a break. Mm-hmm. Eat. We always we love to eat so. Eating anytime we can eat that that's great. So we was like, we'll literally get some making excuses. <laughs> this oh, <laughs> literally making excuse excuse to eat. any excuse to eat any excuse. <laughs> and so this is the best, in my opinion, the best chicken. You know how you have the general chicken with the sauce and stuff on it mm-hmm. from an Asian restaurant. This is oh there it is from Mandarin. Mm-hmm. It's called Tiny Spicy Chicken. It's the best I've ever tasted. Uh, and I oh, really great job. Shout out to Mandarin. Y'all. Shout out to Mandarin and Wok because yeah, I was the about same, to say that I wasn't sure place. if I could. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's it's like the same place with different name. So if you're ever in Alexandria, uh, Louisiana, these flies man. literally hit him in the so, eyeball, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> literally hit him in the eye. Crazy. And it doesn't want to. No one. Okay, this, sorry. We got this food around. <laughs> is what it is. It's when you have children and they they leave the. I get what my parents used to say, mm-hmm. in or out, in or out. <laughs> We're not trying to cool the whole town, all, the whole nine. It's like, we didn't think, and I was the same parents way. Were so. so creative. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was, I'm as, you know, I was as guilty as my children are of running out of the door, not remembering to close the door and all kind of <laughs> manner of mosquitoes and flies. And the summertime. Roaches, everything. <laughs> summertime in Louisiana, everything's trying to get in, in the cool, like mm-hmm. all of that, all of the things. Literally. So, but yeah, like I was saying, this tiny spicy chicken, this is the best. So we're going to eat. We're just going to talk. Uh, we're going to talk a little bit. Uh, if you hear a smack, sorry. Sorry. Uh, <laughs> we, apo- we apologize in advance for the smacking. Because I'm probably going to do it. I'm just, I'm just putting it out there. It's probably, <laughs> it's probably me. Oh, yeah. And Josh, this is your first time trying a Dr. Pepper Zero, right? Yes. Okay. So they've been advertising this new Dr. Pepper Zero Sugar thing. So... We gon we gon see, <laughs> we gon see. I'm yeah, just, it hasn't been out very long. I don't think. Uh, I don't think so. I literally like just saw the commercial for it like maybe last week. So I'm oh, just okay. like, we gon see. I don't know. It's I don't think it's gonna be bad though. I just I've never tried it before. They have one with cream soda in it too, like uh, Dr Pepper with cream soda and it's zero sugar. We have and, that. We have. Yeah. Oh well, I was just gonna say I'm just one of those people. I'm not crazy about cream soda, so like. The idea of having a cream soda is not, I just I ain't for it. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe I'm weird. Yeah, and it's, Dr. Pepper has kind of a, of a vanilla taste already, so it's kind of. That's true. You add the cream soda with it. it I like it. I like it. It's, it's just, it's a slight hint of a taste. It's not, mm-hmm. it's not overbearing. It's pretty good. Um, so, uh, man, what was I about to say? I don't know. I <laughs> Brain's going seven different ways. <laughs> da, da. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so um, we were going to talk a little bit about about a few things, and uh, I figure one of the things we could talk about is I'm going to put these in here. Oh yeah, I have that little there. sauce, but I forgot to grab it from the kitchen. Yeah, uh, it'll be all right. Yeah, so. Um, one of the things I figured we would talk about is uh, just kind of like our dreams and uh, where we see ourselves in however many years, you know, that, that kind of thing. And it can be it can be worship leading, it can be in life in general and whatever. I, was, I know myself, um, I, I kind of see myself... Uh, in five years, still doing this podcast in <laughs> five years. Well, I, <laughs> you know, I would like I would like for that to be a thing in five years. I would, that would be very successful if yeah, we could if we could go five years doing a podcast. That would be very successful. That would be <laughs> really good. Actually, uh, I don't know what the statistics are. I, I was listening to a podcast. I think they say most podcasts they they 
they only go a few months or something like mm-hmm. that. It, it's not it's not very long at all. But yeah, uh, I, I would I would definitely like to still be definitely see myself still serving in my uh, in my local church. Love it to death. Still leading worship there. I would. Uh, these flies, they're crazy. This flies. Uh, he don't want us to be happy. That's all he does it is. not. I would like. I would also like. Um, I would also like Sorry. to see myself. Um, maybe. Um, maybe a little more. You know, um, worship leading other places. Uh, not. Mm-hmm. Not a ton, because you know I have I have two children, a wife. And you know, I, I don't, I don't see the whole full time grueling schedule. I don't, I don't, I don't see that in my life. Uh, mm-hmm. But I, I would like to, I would like to see myself. I, I think I see myself, you know, traveling out a little bit. You know, um, not, not a ton, but that would be, that would definitely be something, uh, something interesting, something fun. Uh, as far as life in general, uh, probably. Uh, we just got this house. We've been in it less than a year, so definitely in this house uh, in the next five years. Uh, probably, probably working less. We own a business, uh, and it's a it's a service based business. And and uh, right now I'm working. Uh, I work. I do a lot of the marketing for the business, and I do. Uh, I also work for it. Uh, turnover rates are just high in service, uh, and so I see myself working a little less, maybe uh, staying at home a little more. That would be good. Uh, I don't know. What, what, how, how about you? Um, let me see. I'm trying to <laughs> get my thoughts. Okay, so it's crazy. Whenever I get this question, it's always like like the deer in headlight moment, you know, like when people are just like, where do you see yourself in five years? I don't know, living. <laughs> like, <laughs> hopefully, like, <laughs> alive. <laughs> no. <laughs> um, I guess, okay, I'll go worship leader. Wise. Okay, so worship, worship wise, I mean, of course, serving at my local church, maybe, oh gosh, this, okay, so this is the part that's hard because it's just like you always kind of like, don't necessarily know like a hundred percent all the way definitely serving at my local church hopefully writing more and doing something with that i'm not all sure what all i'm going to be doing with that yet but hopefully doing that more yeah um i think what else um hopefully kind of being Honestly, I'm not really quite, I'm not like 100% sure on all that yet because I'm still kind of like, you know, like trying to figure stuff out with that. But hopefully, <clears throat> hopefully at least doing those things and maybe like a little bit more. So so let me ask you a question. Mm-hmm. What, What is right now, what's your passion? Because I know me and we talked about this uh, with Jared off off camera. Uh, like. <laughs> I'm sorry. Was that your first? Was it that was. Your first taste? It was. It like, was. I was like, all so, right. so what do you? So what do you think? Okay, Doctor Pepper. <laughs> <laughs> For all you health people out there, okay, zero sugar is making a comeback. We, they they out there. Okay. Yeah. yeah. We love those. We had a party. Um, I'll get back to that question. <laughs> we had a party for uh, hmm. for my youngest. Um, he turned two uh, at the first of August, but. We had his we had his party a week later, and so we bought a ton of drinks, and um, we got a ton of them left over, and we we did zero sugar and sugar drinks. But uh, I try to drink zero sugar as much as possible, just because the the extra calories. I used to be one of those people that say, "Oh, you go to McDonald's, get a Big Mac, and a diet a large fry and a diet drink. Like, what's the point?" But now. <laughs> I, I see like that's an extra 250 300 calories and if you're watching if you're watching mm-hmm. like me I I told the line on the amount of calories I can eat and still stay fit and <laughs> told the line so every everything counts so I I, I try not to drink any calories cuz I'd rather eat them mm-hmm. so that's why I do the diet the diet drinks but but back to that question so me and <laughs> me and me you and Jerry we talked about this off air a little bit mm-hmm. um we talked about um, uh, 
dreams and mm -hmm. you know God putting certain desires in you and certain talents in you and gifts in you mm -hmm. uh and that that you know if he put such a strong drive to do something and such a strong desire to do something he would it would seem like he would expect you to at least you know give it a shot mm -hmm. so what what are some of the uh dreams and not dreams but what are some of the the drives and passions that you have right now um i <clears throat> I actually really like writing songs. I'm not really into the whole, at least not right now. And it's probably, well, I say it's probably because I don't really know how to do it. But honestly, I think it's just because me sitting in front of com a, in front of a computer, I just get bored. But um, <laughs> I'm not really into more of the that side. I'm more into the whole like actually like the creative kind of like putting it together kind mm -hmm. of putting the sounds all that other stuff I, at least that's that's the part i like more right now yeah. and, and then um um i love i love like the actual like actually singing and stuff like that i love doing stuff like that and playing around putting mashups together that sort of thing and just honestly just kind of putting sets together i really i really like doing that just like kind of figuring out like okay if we put it with this or if we change the key of this or if we tag this song at the end of this excuse me sorry that's the dr pepper um and then honestly i have within like the last few years realized that i have a huge passion for like helping people kind of you know come into their own like voice wise worship leading wise not that i like know everything about it but like the stuff i do know helping to you know give something just yeah. to help with people's confidence stuff right. like that i love doing stuff like that love 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 it and, um, and i would say i would say this about you um you saying that makes me think that or or makes me see you like you would be a great mentor uh, of people when it comes to, you know, teaching them and, and, mm -hmm. and like a worship leading, like a hands-on mentor, because you, you are, you are, you're an introvert, but you're also like a people person. Mm -hmm. Like when you, when you know the people, you're mm -hmm. like, you're all in, you know, when you know the people, you're all in <laughs> like a bunch of people you don't know. You're kind of mm -hmm. like, all right. <laughs> all right. <laughs> uh, but people, you know, and have relationships with, you're mm -hmm. all in. And that's something myself. I just, I'm I'm like a hermit when it comes to a lot of stuff <laughs> like I'm not I'm not like that and mm -hmm. that's a really good quality in a mentor just 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 being all in and so I I could I could definitely see you mentoring people um and you I'm, know I'm glad you say that cuz that's actually something that I don't know it's weird like we don't really have like I don't think anybody really has like an official like you know, mentor ish mm -hmm. thing, at least for, I mean, well, mostly for music ministry, unless it's like, you know, something like Bethel or Hillsong or something mm -hmm. like that. Then, I mean, like, of course they have stuff because, I mean, like, they're basically a school. Yeah. And, well, actually, Bethel is a school, but um, <laughs> I don't know, like, for just like on a church to church basis, I don't think we really have like an official, like, hey, if you're, you know, you're wanting to get into this ministry. You feel called by God to do this. Like, you're really wanting to grow in this. Like, here's something for that, mm -hmm. you know? So, this brings me to another question. I'm, I'm just stretching. Mm -hmm. Just stretching. We're imagining. So, could you see yourself as a person that develops a mentorship program, for the lack of better words, but system, Mm -hmm. um, to effectively mentor worship leaders and then going and helping other churches get that started. Do you, is that something? Honestly, that would be, I would love to do that. Yeah. I don't know how, I don't know what that would look like yeah. quite yet. Yeah. I don't think any, but, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you, I, you would have to basically formulate it. Honestly, that's true. Cause honestly, it probably would have to be on a case by case basis yeah. because every church is different. So right. what works for one church would be, you know, terrible for another church and, you know, exactly. vice versa. But I would honestly, that would be really, really interesting to do. Yeah. Just because like, it's something about like when you see 
somebody come into their own, Mm -hmm. watching them, you know, do what they love to do or what they're passionate to do. For me, that's like, yeah, uh, yes, do that, (laughs) you know? Yeah, and I have it. I'm like that with teaching, Mm -hmm. Um, with like, I, one of my strengths is Mm -hmm. I'm able to take a concept and to make it very digestible for Mm -hmm. people. Like, I can break I can break things down fairly well. Uh and so I get that same thing with like with like teaching. Mm-hmm. Like I, I just I feel that same way about teaching. Hold on, excuse me. Is that <laughs> that drink, excuse me. Y'all just bear with this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um actually I can see that. So, really cool. so how about I'm gonna switch Mm-hmm. A little bit. How about um? So you, you will be moving to, into social work. Uh, oh yeah, I never talked so, about life. Yeah, life, yeah. <laughs> I just realized that. Um, yeah, social work wise, that one's a lot harder because social work is can be such a broad. Well, it is such a broad field that it's basically just. And actually, someone, Brad, Brad Allison actually told me. Um, something good to do is instead of especially like when when you're in like my position where you're still kind of like you're at the beginning basically instead of thinking about like oh I want to do this I want to do this think more about like okay what you don't want to do because that at least helps you narrow it down Mm -hmm. especially because like with social work uh now part of it like yes it's textbook but there's also Excuse me. A huge portion of it that's like, you just have to be in it. And you yeah. just have to do it to really like figure out some stuff. There's just some yeah. things that just come by, you know, experiences because it's like there's just some things you just can't learn in a textbook right. or you know through a video or a class or something like that. Because I mean, like, I don't know. I, it, working working with people requires you to work with people <laughs> right in exactly. order to learn anything you know exactly especially so, especially when you get into like social social work you well i'm asking this mm-hmm. um question um tell me if it's a fair assumption but social a lot of social work or a big bulk of social work is dealing with uh troubled people <clears throat> is that or is um, that not the case? Now, this is where social work actually gets really, really broad because mm-hmm. it's like there's a branch of it that that is dealing with people. Okay, so, yeah, some most people know about DCFS, which is not all. Most just people? A, yeah. I'm not, not mo- uh, yeah, what? Yeah, it's, okay, it's so not. What is that? Well, that's um Department of Children Family oh, Services. Oh, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah okay, yeah. yeah. Okay, they call so. It them people. <laughs> yeah, basically. Okay, so social worker in not even not even just all DCFS. I'm saying this just on behalf of the whole entire social work field. We are not all, you know, children takers. Okay, so it's and even the people if if a child is being taken from a home, that's an ex, but that's a whole other soapbox thing. But okay, so when you hear social worker, please don't just be like, oh, so you take people's kids? Stop it! <laughs> Stop it! Stop it! <laughs> <laughs> I cannot tell you how many times, and this has happened to my wife, Waikisha, a lot, where it's just like, she, she, people will be like, oh, what are you doing? She's just like, I'm a social worker. Oh, so you take people's kids. And she's just like, Doo-doops. all right. Um, <laughs> great start. Pretty original. Uh, <laughs> I haven't heard that one. Yeah, great stuff. <laughs> Most people aren't kidding, though. Oh, uh, <laughs> wow. Yeah, it's yeah, great. Yeah, that is. That is a great <laughs> reputation that the whole field has. Um, wow. But there's so much more to it, because, you know, it's like, like you said, it is working with troubled people, people who need services, need help, who genuinely just need help being connected to resources yeah. they don't even realize they have. Right. And when I when I said troubled, I didn't mm-hmm. mean like troublemakers. Oh. I mean, no, no, no. I meant more along the lines like. Mm-hmm. Well, because like when you said that, that like had like a whole like thing, and I was just like, ah. but. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but like, um, I don't know. It's, I mean, like we, I'm, you're basically the majority. Basically, when you see a social worker, basically, you're advocating for somebody that needs an advocate. Because also, like social workers, a lot of people don't realize this. They're also involved in like policies on like city, state, and national levels as well. So oh, it's wow. just like sometimes you can get into lobbying 
a little bit, you oh, know, okay. or a lot. Depends on basically what you want to do. What your niche is. Huh? Mm-hmm. And so it's it, it's kind of just depending on, like, what you want to do because you can work in the school system. You can work at a hospital. Yeah. You could start your own services. There's a, there's a lot of social workers that like to do that just because – you know, oh. it gives them the freedom to do that. So I got a couple of different things. Uh-huh. But um, you and Waikisha, I'm going to make mm-hmm. a note so I can come back to that if <laughs> I need to. Uh, <clears throat> so, yeah, I I, uh, I worked at Cabrini mm-hmm. uh, on their cardiac unit for f- six years before I went to the, the jail. Mm-hmm. And I would come in contact with social workers all the time, so... That was the lens I viewed social work. Like I never, I've never thought social worker takes pe- takes people kids because yeah. I've never come in contact with that. <laughs> the social workers I know are like you know getting people connected to, uh, you know if they if if they need oxygen when they go home. Well, we're getting your insurance in line and we're getting mm-hmm. you connected with the right people and making sure everything's in line. So that's what I knew a social worker as, uh, and. Oh, yeah, you and Waikisha, you said something about starting your own service. Mm-hmm. I think one time you said, did you say you and Waikisha, that that would be like something in the back of y'all's mind? Or is Honestly, that something? Honestly, yeah, it's, like, it's weird. Okay, so we've, we've like bounced it around multiple times. We just, I don't think we ever actually settled on one thing yet. And so like we're still kind of, <clears throat> I don't know, figuring it out, which I don't know if we've, We've talked about it a little bit where it's just like, I mean, it would be cool to own a business, but we haven't actually like yeah. sat down and just like five year plan and we're gonna do this and we're gonna do this and we're gonna yeah. live in this building and like you yeah, know. So y'all, so y'all have entertained the idea, of mm-hmm. like you know, yeah, that would be cool. Okay, because mm-hmm. I, I remember you saying something about it uh, at at some point when we were when we were talking. You you said something about how it would be cool or whatever. Mm-hmm. So yeah, that's that's good uh, and. This is way off, way off. Uh, but I wanted to talk some about uh, um, my experience with mm-hmm. with, uh, with recording. With um, for for people that may not know, which is probably a lot of people, <laughs> but I I had the opportunity the the I was blessed with the opportunity to um, record uh, with Charity Gale at her at her live recording. Wow. Uh, Sorry. Shout out to Charity Gale. Shout out. <laughs> it was a great, it was a super awesome, it was a great experience. So usually like live recordings, <clears throat> I knew this beforehand because I dabble in recording. I'm like a hobbyist and I, uh, well, I record for people now. So I'm maybe a little more than a hobbyist now because mm-hmm. I, I do it for people. But uh, I, I knew this beforehand, but a lot of people don't know that during live recordings, you either go in before or after and you track parts in the studio Mm -hmm. because what's what happens is it's a live recording and and it's an album but what happens when you get in the moment and you're jumping and praising you hear a lot of (laughs) and mic rumble and stuff like that and and if you go to spotify and you're you're looking for a good quality you know and and you hear somebody in the mic (gasps) <laughs> breathing because they because they've been jumping and excited and coughing in the back <laughs> and the microphone waving the microphone yeah so that kind of there are elements there are elements um to the live recording that that the live recording is taken so it's not a complete studio thing the live recording is taken but it, there's also for i guess quality control there's uh there's a, a before and after and that's how we did with with stones you know you mm-hmm. it was live but you go in after and you mm-hmm. you you fix a part because that's that's what that's what happened you solo the track and somebody's like i will praise you you know well, maybe not that much but you know, yeah maybe not that much but but when you put a compressor on and and, and you do the things and you go to Everything. mixing and limiting and, and making levels louder all mm-hmm. that stuff stands out so you got to have you got to kind of control the quality a little bit. Mm-hmm. So <clears throat> all of that to say, we um, we went in. Um, so I, I uh, when when she asked me to do it, and I, I was like, thank you, yes, yes, yes. <laughs> and so uh, um, she sent the songs, and so I started to listen to the songs. And we had um, 
the few days before we 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 all came to it was in Texas. Uh, we all went to Texas, uh, and me and me and my wife we had we always have points. We're 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 uh, like the Choice Hotel. It's it, they're not like bad hotels, and they're not like great hotels. They're just kind of like middle of the road, <laughs> you know, middle of the road, Holiday mm-hmm. Inn, that kind of thing. You just ain't living with the roaches, right? Right. <laughs> right That's right. what's important, <laughs> exactly. And so we 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 uh we have we have points with them, so we just use our points, and we uh we. We made a kind of like a family thing, a trip out of it, and so we went, um, and we uh, we practiced, uh, we practiced, and and um, made sure you you know everything was was down solid, and then we went beforehand, and before the the uh, the actual concert, and we tracked, so we we stacked vocals, so we we sang through the songs a few times, all the songs a few times. We just we got in the studio and we just. And the great thing about it, she chose she chose a really good team. She chose a team that that we were able to get it done fairly fairly quickly, you know. And and so we went in, recorded the parts, and um, for the actual recording, um, they record again, and there's less pressure. They they mm-hmm. do take the they take the audio from the recording and they use that. But there's less pressure because you have that quality control factor, and it was it was such a great experience. Uh, 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 Ryan and, and Charity they are first class all the way. They uh, that you know they had us a little gift basket and everything oh. when we got there, and it was <clears throat> it was it was great. It was an overall great experience. They are the real deal. Like they really have a heart after God, and they're and 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 they're doing they're doing this work and. Uh, I enjoyed it. I I really enjoyed it. I don't I don't know if there's any. I don't know you. Honestly, any, anything that that you want because we didn't talk about it a whole lot. Anything we that didn't. You okay, to know about? so it was funny because when he told me, I was just like, oh, this is so cool. Take notes or something because I'm gonna have questions and now I'm here and I have no questions. <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah, I don't know. It's I'm. Why am I talking so loud? Okay, I'm sorry. So I'm never. I've never actually known what like goes into it because you know like you hear you you like hear like this live stuff or you see like the stuff on YouTube because you know like everybody has something on YouTube now and so you see it and you're just like man that sounded so good it tried to take my eye out okay man that sounded so good I love that song now oh, that fly needs to die um it sounded so good man I love that song but then like you kind of start thinking about it like well at least I do sometimes where it's just kind of like okay how did they how did they like record this when you know like people are like falling on top of each other? You know, like <laughs> yeah. And one one great thing about um, about recording with because I've 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 recorded before in a live setting, mm-hmm. um, just with choir stuff. But one of the great things that uh, Charity and Ryan did they like it's necessary to do certain things, but. Mm-hmm. What was most important to them was the night of worship. A lot of the times, there's a there's a lot of segues. There's a there's downtime because you're waiting to plug apart and you know and that kind of thing. But they were ah uh, sorry, got, got it. <laughs> <laughs> but they were concerned. They were concerned with with the worship experience and the 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 recording engineer and the and the um, video. Uh, Videographer, videographer, mm-hmm. they were there uh, to document the worship. Like they, mm-hmm. they were there on the. They were the two. Worship was the one, and they were the two. Then, being concerned about getting the the recording done. So yeah. I really, I really enjoyed um, the way it flowed and the and the way the worship flowed, and they allowed free worship during a recording. Honestly, I that's the one thing, that's the reason why I actually normally prefer. Prefer, prefer <laughs> <laughs> um, live versions over like recorded versions simply for that you reason. Know, for that, because you, yeah, it's not that the recorded versions can't be genuine, it's just you are more likely to get, excuse me, excuse me, oh my gosh, okay, you're more likely to get or capture a genuine moment. If you do the live, because there's just some things, yeah, like when you're just in the moment, you just I don't know, it just kind of happens spontaneously. And a, a lot of the times, 
like you said, you can have um, you can have those moments in the studio, but a lot of times when you go in a studio, it's you're you're in this place and and uh, you know that microphone in front of you and they're adjusting things and and getting levels and all of that and 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 you're singing and it, it's it's a lot easier in a setting where there's free worship to to have a genuine experience than when there's a microphone in front of your face and there's a recording engineer in your ear mm -hmm. and there's all of the things uh so yeah it, it's definitely you can definitely get a more genuine uh, you can always get a genuine you know yeah. um anytime a genuine response or whatever i don't know the word i'm looking for what's the word a genuine um experience experience that, that's good experience that's a good word experience you can always get a general experience anywhere but like you said i think it's just it's more common and it's easier to have that experience in a worshipful environment mm -hmm. and not a you know a cold studio <laughs> <laughs> yeah um Oh gosh. Okay, I probably shouldn't have got that much rice. Okay, one moment. <laughs> I just I just took a big bite too, so I can't I can't help you. <laughs> I didn't I didn't think that ahead. Okay. Okay. All right. And I'm back. All right. So honestly, that's something that I like keeping in mind because, like, even in a church setting, because you know, ninety. I guess 90 to 95 percent of churches now mm -hmm. are in some form of recording aspect, whether it be like Facebook Live or I don't know, what have you. Yeah. You're just recording on your web on your church website or something like that for your congregation. Like even taking that stuff into account of trying to keep that, you know, genuine aspect, even though, you know, and I, I feel like I may be like changing subjects unintentionally but like keeping no that <laughs> keeping that like genuine aspect even though you know that i'm on the live and like 2500 people are watching me right now oh, you know like no feeling like you're you're in worship but your eyes are open you see the camera and you see that little red light come on that red light that <laughs> red light and it's like you don't want to but you see it and it's like you gotta you gotta check it out. I don't Literally. know. I, me, it's it's kind of like the like the cat with the dot, and you're just like, <laughs> right. <laughs> I just saw. Oh, <laughs> or or when the um when the camera's on you and you literally look at yourself on the screen, y'all, <laughs> y'all. <laughs> Literally, it's it is the weirdest feeling when you're just like you're in the moment and. Excuse me. It is it is literally it's so easy f to forget that there's a camera. Until like you look to the side and it's like I don't like if you're if your church has like the I don't I don't even know what to call it, basically like the screen the that shows who they're on yeah. or whatever. And like you just happen to look to the side for literally any reason whatsoever and out of the corner of your eye, you're just like, That's me. That's great. That's me. <laughs> All right. Yep. And you're just trying to move past it and and just not be freaked out by the fact <laughs> that you're just like, Yep. <sighs> Now I got to turn around. Like, <laughs> look what you made me do. I didn't want to do this. Now I have to turn around. Now I turn. Well, yep, that's me. <laughs> that's me. I'm up there. Yeah. <laughs> like I don't know. It's it is it is weird, and I don't know because literally, like, okay, when when I'm singing on Sundays or something, like, I'll honestly forget until like I either like catch it out of the corner of my eye randomly, or like I'm just like scrolling through Facebook or Instagram, and it's just like, oh, they had cameras cool <laughs> like yep happens every week still forget <laughs> <laughs> still yeah. forget so so yeah um i don't know what uh with the cameras and stuff i don't know i'm kind of i'm kind of at a standstill on, on talking i don't <laughs> like i don't know okay so mind y'all we we did not really have much of a plan no. going into this we did not we literally said we will sit down eat and talk about whatever. Uh, Terry normally, okay, like whenever we, you know, have an episode or something like that, Terry will normally have like this docket of just like, okay, these are the bullet points we're going to hit. Just kind of keep us focused because one of us will be scatterbrained for whatever reason. <laughs> and this keeps us anchored yeah. <laughs> on what we're doing. And so this time we're just kind of. <coughs> yeah. 
basically. Whichever way the wind blows, we we catch it and ride the wave. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, um, I don't know. As far as like cameras, I know in in our youth services we've started doing um cameras more like we we actually started doing videography more too oh wow and um they they just recently posted from um what what uh oh gosh i forgot what service it was but they i think it was uh what we what we call um well what they well what we they all of us call (laughs) triple seven where basically we have uh our youth pastor garen will um Asked three students to basically speak on a Wednesday night to basically, if not all, most of the youth group, and they'll so just that would be the that will be the sermon is is mm-hmm. student led sermon, but it's three people giving devotionals. Yeah, and That's normally cool. they'll do it as like a recap That's over cool. like what we've been talking about that yeah. month, or if we had like youth camps, they'll do a recap on like what was talked about. On Good the idea, Gary. That's, That's cool. It was, it's really like honestly, it's yeah. just about everybody's favorite night because yeah. it's just we those students. They, they uh, the stuff that they say is just kind of like, oh my gosh, like this is coming from like this isn't a staff member, this isn't yeah. a pastor, like these are the students, and they are like they they're coming with it, like That's good. That's it's good. really really good. I bet it's um, refreshing to see. It it really is, and it's like he he's he'll like the people he picks, like when you see them speak, like it it like it does something to you because of like some people like you know where they came from, what, like, struggles they had to overcome. And some of them just knowing that, you know, like, they're normally very shy and not very outspoken and, like, seeing them speak in front of everybody and just, like, being comfortable. Like, it's surprising. It's It'll actually – it's really – it's, like, it's a good shocking to see how many of them get up there. And it's, like, it's not that – um, um – so uh, like they get up there and they just do it and they're just speaking and it's just like okay like the last like in in it's not like just like you know like little golf clap you know stuff like we're gonna put the picture up on the fridge because yeah. they, they did it like it's like good stuff, good like, stuff yeah <laughs> and not, so that's good and not like the participation yeah <laughs> trophy type stuff yeah it's it's right. it's been like it's it's been legit like it's it's and it's really exciting because like you see. Like these, these are people that you've basically watched like grow up, and you're seeing them like in that role doing that thing, and it's just kind of like, <laughs> ah! like as a youth worker, it's just like, ah, it works. <laughs> like <laughs> they do hear it, they get yeah. it, they know, they know. And it's I don't know, and honestly, I think it's I think it's really helped also because it's like everybody else is good to see like their peers being up there speaking you know because you know like it's one thing to see like somebody like older than you and it's just kind of like ah oh, that's just you know the old people <laughs> and for them old is like probably 30 yeah. um so yeah. <laughs> like seeing seeing somebody their age yeah is encouraging also because it's just like oh wow okay yeah we can do this yeah all right we're you know? doing this too it's not just the old people yeah, yeah. and so it's just like the whole the whole night is just exciting i love it i love everything about it it's awesome um so yeah Shout out to Garen slash yeah. Refuge Ministries and all of wonderful people that are a part of it. Love y'all. And, uh, and <laughs> one of the things, I guess, going back to uh, like dreams and stuff, one, this isn't a dream. This is just something I've been doing. I play guitar, and one of the things I've been trying to do is is get a lot better. You know, I'm mm-hmm. I'm a, I'm you know I'm all right at it. You know, I I can. I can play and sing and I can, you know, whatever. I'm, I guess, intermediate, intermediate. Mm-hmm. That's the right one, huh? I think so. Like, yes, that's got, the middle one. Yeah, you got intermediate like, and then yeah. you got like intermittent, Expert. like the intermittent <laughs> fasting and all that stuff. I was yeah. trying to get those two words yeah, 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 and not get right. them mixed up. But, uh, yeah, uh, <laughs> it's, I've been trying to practice more, uh, just learning the guitar and playing the guitar, mm-hmm. uh, just because if, like back to the drives and the dreams and the goals and things uh like like I was telling um you and Jared like if God puts that or we were all discussing if God puts a desire and a certain level of talent and and a drive for something in you 
uh, I think it's, I think it's, it's a good thing, uh, to, to maybe, um, cultivate it and, and, and to like, I love guitar and that's one of the things that, that one of the, my passions. And so I'm trying to become better at it. I'm trying to become more skillful at it so that when I do, you know, I'm not, I'm not restricted on the things that I can do and on the songs that I can sing and on mm -hmm. the, on, on, on that kind of thing, because it just, I, I guess it just, it just makes, it just makes you better as a, as a worship leader when you, when you're on top of all of the things. So right. I've been trying to practice, but it's, it's boring. Like with the click <laughs> at home, like doing, like, practice it's like doing so homework. <laughs> it's, practice is homework. Literally, like you just got to click, click, click and you on scales. Dun, 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 and getting card changes, making sure you can you can change them on time and stuff. It's that like boring quick. In, on the like on in your heart, you can know I really need to practice. But right. like the actual application, yeah, of that is literally just like I just don't want to. Like, right, right. I, there is <laughs> there are a million other things that I would rather be doing literally. than practicing. Now, just sitting down and just just playing and not practicing, just noodling around is mm -hmm. what what a lot of people say is what you say on guitar because just whatever <laughs> like uh, that i could sit and do that like mm -hmm. watching tv and just whatever like that's not a problem i love to do that but to actually do homework and like mm -hmm. put on a click and lock yourself in and and it's it's so no one talk to me right now. yeah it's so boring <laughs> it, it is it's boring <laughs> but i i guess it's kind of necessary but whoo man yeah it's hard <laughs> it's hard yeah, and and um, another thing that that uh, that I I guess that I've been doing well I have not been doing that I sent you that text uh, I sent you a link to uh to oh, a vocal coach yeah. look I had a like deer head like moment I was <laughs> like, like what, what text what, what text is he what talking text? about <laughs> to a vocal coach with here and I told myself I was like I want to work on this ten minutes a day just ten minutes I'm gonna work. With it because it's a YouTube vocal coach and he puts out enough content to where you can, you know, you can go and look at his stuff. He's just giving you different scales and 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 his breathing and it's telling you how to how to flow through them and all of that stuff. And I told myself ten minutes a day, but I probably did that for three days after I sent you that text. <laughs> it's just, it's I guess as an adult that yeah. kind of stuff is it's tough. Like yeah. if. If I if I was in high school and I didn't have a, a care in the world, anybody in high school, if do there's it now. something, do it now. If do there's something, it now. <laughs> if there's something you you feel like you may be like I played football in high mm -hmm. school. I'm thankful. I, I like the camaraderie and all that stuff from football. But if I could do it over again, I would not play football. Mm -hmm. I would spend my high school time learning guitar, learning keys learning bass drums like everything i, I would be so a one man time. band i wasted so many days <laughs> high school doing that <laughs> oh it's gosh. different you may think you will always it will always be like it is now it will not it will not that time will the time will come to where where you just don't have time like i remember literally before when we had when it was just me and trisha i remember like being busy i remember uh -huh. being busy i was like man we're just so busy and then we had Vivian, and I sat down, and I was like, what did we do with our time? We had so much time. Yeah, it's something about, like, when you have kids, like, you don't even, I don't, I don't even know if you can really even accurately say you have free time anymore. Because yeah, it's, every waking moment, <laughs> oh. and sometimes the non-waking, even the non-wake moments yeah. are devoted to right. either your child or your spouse or your job, or like if you're a ministry, your ministry, like yeah. literally, you're just like one. I, because I think I had that moment too, where it's just like literally, like in the five, like that five minute window that you actually just have like literally nothing to do, and nobody's asking you to do anything, and you just think about it, and it's just like, what did I do with my life? Like, yeah, like what? When? Where did? It, <laughs> why did I waste so much time? Like, <laughs> so yeah, and, and use it, use it constructively. If there's something you feel like you have a passion for, mm -hmm. get on it now, do it now, because yeah. life will only get increasingly busier. It's true. Increasingly, and when you add a spouse, when you add children. 
then it's like me and me and Trisha. Now we, we go, we probably go to sleep about two o'clock on average because we get the, <laughs> we get the kids to bed and then our Yo, life starts. This is, this is some real life stuff our right life, now. <laughs> our life starts after we put the kids to bed. So we're like, okay, so we have a life now. So let's literally y'all, if, if you see, do not judge the friends. If you're if you're single and you have friends that are like married with kids and they're just like, I'm sorry, it's eight o'clock. I need to get these kids to bed. Yeah. Do not judge them. Do Don't not. be mad at them because they are trying to live a normal life right, right now. And right. it is survival. <laughs> it, <laughs> it, is is survival. survival. <laughs> it is survival. And you get those kids to bed and you're like, okay, Vivian, Lewis, this is going to be on the internet for never, forever. When you see this later. We love you. We've always loved you. <laughs> promise. We've always, we promise. Promise. <laughs> but when you like, it's when when we put them to bed, we're like, oh man, that is now. It's, you can it's breathe. Such a relief. You can breathe. It's like, because it's just like it's something about like even even when your child is doing their own thing, walking around, just playing with their toy, doing yeah. nothing. It's like that little like tick. In yeah, the middle it, of your head, a, yeah. of just like, what are they doing? Why is it so quiet? What are they tearing you're, up? You're, is the TV exactly. about to fall on their head? Like <laughs> exactly, and, and those are all legitimate <laughs> thoughts. Like that's not that's, like, those thoughts. Are, that's not like a worry person. Like, this is exactly, this feels really, like exaggeration, but it's not exaggeration. It really could happen. Like you were like <laughs> thinking about because like my daughter, she's at the point now where it's like she can walk around. And like she 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 has like the long legs, long arm thing like me, and so like she's at the point now where she can like touch the tv oh and so like we have to we're having to make plans to mount our tv because we're just like if we don't she may there's a possibility she is gonna knock it down yeah oh yeah (laughs) she can reach it she yeah. will knock it down. And I am yeah. just not trying to I <laughs> Oh my gosh. Like I don't I don't know. It's something about like and then like something simple, like you just hear a rumble and you're just like <laughs> Yeah, what what is that? What, is that? <laughs> what or, are they doing? Or it's too it's like, they it's, it's, down? Quiet. <laughs> it's too quiet. Something something's not right. Then Literally. You, you get back there and they're with with my with my children, they've they've got the stool and they're like in Literally. the cookie jar or something. Literally. Like, <laughs> like you would think it's weird, like you would think like having peace and quiet with kids is a good thing, but it's like all of a sudden, like literally every alarm goes off. Yeah. Cause like it takes you a minute too. Cause you're just like, you're just doing, you know, you're just doing your thing. And all of a sudden you just you kind of snap stop. out of it. You're like, wait, you're just like, why is it so wait, quiet? Why is it so quiet? Where's the screaming? <laughs> Where's the moving? Why They're is the... occupied by something. <laughs> and it's now. not something good. Wait a minute. Where's... Did they go to the electrical socket? Yeah. What's happening? <laughs> like, <laughs> or you go in the bathroom. Lou used to do this. He would unroll the entire oh my gosh. roll and put in the toilet. We were like, Louis, you cannot do this. Like, this he would just like unroll this. it all and just put it in the toilet. <laughs> and there, so there's toilet paper all over the bathroom. Like... <laughs> Literally, Gigi is, I don't know where she gets this from. I don't know why she started doing this, but she started doing this thing where if you have clothes or something on the couch, because laundry, don't judge me, you do it too. Um, <laughs> laundry, there's literally laundry in the front room right For now. all you judges out there, you do it too. Just stop it. Um, just the clothes on, or just honestly, just anything on the couch. It's like this little like switch goes off in her head, and she just looks at it. And it's like literally like immediate, like she will literally stop walking wherever she's walking to, whatever she's playing with, she will literally drop it, go towards it, and just one by one, just just on the floor. <laughs> not not on the couch, not just moving on the couch. It's literally one by one, just <laughs> on the floor. And then when it's all on the floor, she goes back to minding her business because she's done her damage. She's like, I'm- <laughs> My work here is done. Uh-huh. Huh? She, she was goes, just like, it's all clean now. <laughs> I'm going to tear something else up. <laughs> <laughs> and, cause, and, then, and I know this because we literally, we sat there and we watched her do it because we were just like, well, maybe there's like a purpose to it. There's no purpose no to purpose. it. No purpose. She's just trying to make a mess. <laughs> literally trying to make a mess. <laughs> and it's, I thought about this, I thought about this the other day. It was like, wherever, wherever children go is like, it's like a hurricane's been there. There's just toys and, and it's. I don't, so and I, I want to get your honest answer on this, so I'll know. <laughs> like, give me an honest answer. Like, oh my gosh. do does sometimes does it feel like to you to to well, Gigi's younger, but with me sometimes I'm like teach them to pick up like what like what's the point? <laughs> what's the point in trying to teach this kid to pick up like? Because I know what's gonna happen I know tomorrow. What's gonna happen. Like, and I know there's people that say if you're disciplined, you no. No, no. Kid, th- There's something brain? about like on the on the seventh day after you've picked up the same toy from the same spot, 
for the seventh day in a row, there is some part of you that just gets discouraged and you yeah, want to give that's up. What it is. <laughs> that I didn't. You just, you just <laughs> like you. You just, just identified it. it. That's what it is. <laughs> After doing it so many times, you're like, look, I'm done. I'm. I am I'm just. Done. I. I just can't do this anymore. You know? I'm too tired for this. <laughs> I, I. I popped this kid a couple of times. <laughs> We set him down on the couch. We tried. We tried the whippings. We tried the timeout. We tried old school, new school parenting. It's just like you did nothing work. We, we tried putting them on a little schedule, getting them to pick. I don't up know the, if children are just like built to make a mess or it's a, what. It's like, like they just they just see it and they just and it's like they won't even play with the stuff. It's like they'll they'll take toys, put them in the floor, just to lay no it out. intention. No intention. It gives intention them of playing peace with it. to have it out. Yeah, there. yeah. It, 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 it gives, gives them, them peace, peace <laughs> to have it out there, and it, it's just out there, and they just go on and do something else. So I'm just gonna be honest. Again, if you have friends with kids, if you so choose to just pop up on them, don't you dare judge them for having their house a oh, mess. Oh my goodness! Because it is not their fault. It's <laughs> it's not their it's fault. Not, it's <laughs> not if. If you just pop in on a random Tuesday, uh, it, it's gonna be like a twenty minute wait before you get in the house. <laughs> like, I'm gonna be honest. What? Literally, <laughs> Josh had to sit in there. Literally, he, came he was after just lunch. like, I just I need to, like, I just need to make sure that need, everything is. Need a few minutes, so I came <laughs> in, start picking up, start picking up stuff, and, and and getting stuff squared away. And then I was like, I texted him. I was like, a few more minutes. Literally, <laughs> so, like honestly, no lie, like. If someone just like happens to just come over, and just Josh they didn't just, just happen to—I'm sorry. To oh yeah, yeah, no, Josh didn't just happen to show up. That we we planned this, and I still needed the time <laughs> because kids. <laughs> Literally, like it's just—I don't know what it is. It's just something about like when you have small, especially like small. I don't know. When you get older, you can you can you can work with that. Like you can teach them. They they finally get it. But yeah. it's like when you just have young children, and I never got it until I had one of my own. Yeah, and it's just like there's just. There's either clothes everywhere or there's toys everywhere or there's like random pieces of food on the floor. Don't know where it's coming from. You didn't eat that. You, <laughs> you don't even know if you even had that kind of food in your house, but it ended up <laughs> like, on your floor somehow. <laughs> like, <laughs> it's just it's weird. Yeah, I don't know. Is. You have kids and all of a sudden your house just gets messy. All oh, the time. yeah. Oh, yeah. And you said you said y- y'all are probably not looking to have children not, for a while. Not for like, a while. So so <laughs> here's the deal with me and Trisha. Like me. I'm done. <laughs> Trisha, she, she documented, <laughs> documented, documented. I'm done. So if there's, a, it's a here forever. So if there's a there's a third child that comes, you I are love loved. You. <laughs> you are loved. I loved you, but no, at number two, look, no, Trisha, Trisha won me over. Just know that <laughs> you because are loved, though. You are loved. You are loved. <laughs> so, so, uh, so I'm done. She's. She just not, does not like the possibility. Mm-hmm. She she likes, I guess, I would say, I'm going to throw Trisha under the bus a little bit. <laughs> I would say. It'll be fine. I think, <laughs> I think she, I think she has the idea of a third child in her head and she already like is madly in love with that child mm-hmm. and she does not want to, um, like close it off. She don't, she don't want to close mm-hmm. the, op, the, um. Like just to know mm-hmm. that that we're not having any more children is mm-hmm. like devastating to her because I feel like this is the mm-hmm. way I feel. This may not be true. Internet, this may not be true. <laughs> I haven't I haven't really talked to her. We've talked about this, but I haven't asked this her. This is all her speculation. Feeling. This is all y'all. speculation. So I feel that that she has a a, a third child in her psyche, and she's mm-hmm. so in love to. She's like, one day we're, we're just gonna have a third one. <laughs> I'm not ready yet is what she always she always said. Mm-hmm. I said I'm not ready. She's like me either. Not yet. I'm like I'm not ready ever. And you're just like And the reason yet. why <laughs> Yeah. And the reason why and I I'm, I'm going to be honest and transparent here is I just don't have the patience for a third one. I don't. That's real. I I just That's real. I don't. I I think we need more of that. Let's let's just I just, let's just cut to the honesty, y'all. I <laughs> let's just, just cut to honesty. I just don't. Now, now, if if we have a third child, I'll, mm-hmm. I'll, I'll adapt. I'll grow Parent, up. Parent, and I lo- parenting I'll will kick love, in or yeah, something. And, <laughs> and and the thing, since I'm being negative, uh, <laughs> Ned over here. Let's. I don't have the patience. I'm very impatient when it comes to like 
extra and mm-hmm. little kids are they're all extra they are uh, just, like and and for them like they don't realize they're extra because right, for them that's it. normal it's, like yeah. it has to be this way yeah. i have to have everything it, it has to be like this and right I, now i think but. it's like <laughs> when a baby's born they they cry for they cry for everything because mm-hmm. they can't communicate and we expect them I expect them and we expect them as adults just to stop. Like the first one and a half to two years, the first two, they can, they can talk, form small sentences, but the first two, two to uh, two and a half years of their life, they're basically crying for everything they want. Literally. And so like, it just carries over. Like, and we expect them just to one day stop crying and be like, Hey, it does not happen. I that. want that. It, does it doesn't happen. happen like that. And I just, they have, to even though talking. I know this, my patience is still like the extra, like I was saying, like be a, be a baby cry. That's, mm-hmm. that's okay. But the extra, like all blood curling, screaming, like, y'all, there is, is nothing. I have zero patience for like a small child, not crying, screaming. Yeah. The, the, I'm not getting my way scream. Not like, oh, I'm in pain scream. Right. That one, that one's just like, yeah, okay, yeah, that, yeah. that's a call to action. That, like, yeah, do, that's do like something. A, it triggers a, a yeah. whole different all thing. Like, in like adrenaline starts rushing yeah, and you're right. like picking up cars and stuff like yeah. that. That's different. <laughs> that's different. But <laughs> like the, the, you just told them, you know, you're in Walmart and they just found this toy and you're just like, no, we're not getting this toy because you literally have the same one in like five different colors at home. You're not getting this. And all of a sudden it's like this, like the head you you see you see it happening like not necessarily in slow motion but you already know where it's going when yeah. like their head starts going back and you're just like trying to like mentally brace your your like mind for yeah. what's about to happen and it's like the scream and then like some children or most children as i understand it throw their whole body into it and it's like a complete like they just tantrum like Gigi Gigi does that it's it's like the a, rock back it's not just the rock back it's the rock back swing down oh like all of this and <laughs> and she just randomly did it one day and she ha- hasn't stopped and I don't know where <laughs> she learned it from I don't know if she saw it on TV or something but literally like the first day she did it I was just like oh no oh no oh no no I'm not ready <laughs> like, yeah like I can yeah like I can take the I can take the uh the just the normal you know kids cry I can take the it's just the extra I, my patient drops pretty quick when it comes to the extra and kids yes. are all extra yes. so I'm pretty sure and they're extra in different ways like, so it's not like one like set thing right. it's all every child is different, different which makes it worse extra. yeah so, <laughs> so comment people that have older children now, i really uh, y'all watching don't comment but i really want to comment on this like <laughs> does the extra just transfer when they get older like are they always extra is there like, like a I know threshold teenagers, i know teenagers are extra in a different way so, but, like teenagers are are extra if you're a teenager sorry sorry um but, uh, <laughs> We 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 were there. We know. We, we know. I, I, I was know. extra. I, yeah. I I I know I was. <laughs> I was. I was. Like, I was. I guess I was. Um, I don't know. I was extra, but I think everybody's extra with their parents. Like yeah. you might not be extra with. You like might not be extra public. with out in public, but when it, when it comes to your behind parents, closed door, the people that are <laughs> the people that are closest to you, they get all the extra. They get everything. They get all the extra. I know. I was. I was. I was kind of extra with with. With my parents, as I'm a gonna teenager. be honest. Mine was the carefully like talking under under the breath and oh, like yeah. doing like the quick eye roll and, and just like I, can't I remember the teenagers. Oh, we're gonna stay on y'all for a while. We <laughs> love y'all. We're gonna stay on y'all for this a while. This is coming from a place of experience. Experience. So we have like, been here. Yeah, I'm I'm talking about myself as a teenager, not you. We I have mean, done because, this because you're different, right? So uh, <laughs> just talking about me as a teenager. I'm talking about me as a teenager. Like I remember. Uh, what was it? I see. I forgot it. Trying to trying to. Uh, <laughs> well, I don't know. Like me. Okay, so I was I was the emotional teenager where it was like everything was, you know, the skies falling and you know. Well, I I don't know if it was necessarily like walking around something happened. My life is over. I don't know if I necessarily <laughs> did all. Well, I didn't do all that, but it was. I I know I was I was emotional and you know something happened. It's just like. <laughs> You oh know. yeah, I remember. <laughs> now I remember what I was gonna say. I remember as a teenager thinking that my parents didn't know what they were talking about. I remember thinking though. So I remember this is thinking real. they did not. This is real. They, and then you, you, you. They don't know what they're doing. You become an adult. <laughs> well, some people got a good point. Some, some, well, okay. some parents yeah. don't know what they're doing. But, <laughs> but <laughs> gotcha. Like. <laughs> 
<laughs> but I remember thinking that, and then you grow up, and you're like, okay, they think I don't know what I, I've been through this before. Like I'm telling you this because I know I don't have I have very small children, but it's the same. It's, it's the same with with Vivian. I mm-hmm. can see it. She, she, I can see the the beginnings of you her already know what's thinking. Happening. <laughs> her thinking. Okay, they don't know what they're talking about. But we we uh, I mean we've experienced that. <laughs> And I'm telling you exactly like I put my hand on that stove before. I know it's gonna burn you. Like just like like that might have happened to you. <laughs> but me, but me, <laughs> I'm gonna put my hand on this hot stove, and it's not gonna it's hurt not me. It's not gonna burn me. It's not I gonna know hurt not. me. I know. <laughs> and so I remember as a teenager thinking my parents didn't really know what they were talking about. But now as an adult, I know they knew exactly what they were talking about, and they were telling me because they went through it. So it's. That's I guess rough. the extra does transfer. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I guess so. Uh, we're in it for the long haul, and I've heard people say it doesn't. It doesn't stop at eighteen. You know, you, you, as long as you have children, you're a parent. So, <laughs> hopefully, they just get easier. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Like, like you, like you were saying, all, like you were saying off camera. I think we hit a point of a. What was it you said? It was, it was like I don't know. It was like we just hit like that. I, I forgot what word I used, but it was just like we just hit like a hot, a hot point. We hit, we hit a hot point. We're did, like, on accident. We we're just like hit a landmine. Right? <laughs> we're just talking through. We pull out a little couch and we, I know. <laughs> you lay on there and tell me your problems. Then I'll you get up. I'm and just and like sit back y'all with no is. This parenting stuff is not for the week. It, 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 is, <laughs> it not. is not for the week. It's not. It's not for the week. It is. You got to get your difficult. mind right for this. <laughs> it's difficult. It's 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 mentally taxing. Like physically, it's not <laughs> as taxing, but mentally, it is emotionally emotionally because you have to be, especially like when they're small, you have to be emotionally available. Yeah, twenty four seven because right. like. When especially when they're small, when they get older, they have more of a concept of just like, okay, you know, like they've been at work all day or something like that. So most of the time they kind of like hold off with exceptions, depending. But like when they're young, they don't understand all that. All they know is that you're home now and you belong to them. Like (laughs) you and everything that you are is theirs now. (laughs) They don't care that you just work 12 to 13 (laughs) hours. Like five minutes, five, five minutes, five minutes. Breathe, get a cup of water. <laughs> Literally, <laughs> sitting in the car with the air on, trying to <laughs> trying to recollect your strengths because you know what's gonna happen when you come oh, inside. Man. Like uh, literally, I walk inside. Gigi could be dead asleep. She will wake up out of her sleep crying, wanting me to come get her. Like no <laughs> lie, I have seen this. Ha- she she doesn't even have to see me. All she has to do is hear the door open and close, and it's like. Ah! And why he's just literally just like he literally just got in. He's not even through the doorway. Like, like he ain't even in good. Like, yeah. Have you? Like, okay, I'll, I'll get. I guess we might as well just be transparent. This will be transparent. Have you ever? Have you ever used? Have you ever used the, uh, the, the? Yeah. You ever used the bathroom as an escape? Yes. <laughs> yes. 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 Like, I just. Like, no lie, and, like, Gigi has literally tried to follow me to the bathroom, uh-huh. like, and it's crazy because she doesn't have to see you walk away. I don't know if kids are just, like, superhumans, and they have, like, this crazy, like, mental ability to instantly know where you are. Like, they they could find somebody that the FBI can't even find. Like, yeah. it is insane. Like, all you have to do is, like, go, and, all I, like, literally, I, I went inside of our closet to go get something she was watching tv playing with her toy and like all i just hear is this i think i think i heard her go like huh, or something like that like she uh-huh. made some kind of noise or i just happened to like look around the corner and here she comes just, huh, 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 and i'm just like <laughs> how did you find me <laughs> i was hiding literally and like no. it wasn't it wasn't even like oh like she just she was just looking and she was just like well he's not here like literally she went to the exact spot that i was at like she knew, <laughs> she knew she internally where i was she could feel it i was just like <laughs> you got some kind of homing beacon on me like what's happening and i i think right now it's getting to where like with with Viv and Lou, it's we have to watch it because they they're at the age now to where you could put a, give them a tablet and they will be fine all day. 
And oh, yeah. That's tempting sometimes. <laughs> sometimes, not all the time. I mean, cause it, it's tempting sometimes to do that. And mm-hmm. you, you have to remember. Temptation. You have to remind yourself that. It's not worth it. That, yeah, it's not, it's not worth Think it. You know, the long term. No, <laughs> yeah, it's not, it's not worth it, you know. And here's one of the things I was thinking. And since we're being transparent, just let's just be transparent the, mm-hmm. the, whole, the whole time. Uh, so I am... I've been guilty a time of two. I think I think sometimes guys do this because we are like the mother is the more nurturing of the two parents. <laughs> I think guys and I could be wrong, it could be just me, but I I think I think I think well, a lot of guys probably like 8 to 9 times out of 10 yeah, is normally the case. I think a lot of guys would probably identify with this, but I have I have been known to to check out you know uh, the, to check out a time or two you know and like the kids the kids are the kids are like playing and I'm just I'm just over here like like Gone. I'm over just in my own little world like or or I'll be playing like Tune Blast or something on my phone mm-hmm. you know like match the colors or whatever uh-huh. and and. I mean, it's not it's not all the time, but like I've I've been known to check out and 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 Trisha tells my wife tells me, you know, you you gotta you gotta enjoy these moments. And I was thinking the other day, like that actually there's gonna come a time when they want nothing to do with us. Like that is the dreaded moment. Like when they and it come in the spontaneously, house, close the door. You will not see it go coming. in their room, and they don't want anything to do with us. You so, they don't they don't even give you. Hello, how you doing? <laughs> you don't even get that. What's in the fridge? Especially like, with, especially I know with the boy. Walk right by you like you don't exist, and you just feel like, my gosh, <laughs> like I'm your parent. Like <laughs> I changed your diaper. I know, <laughs> like, which is crazy because, like, as a parent, you did that to your parents, but it's like it, yeah, for some reason right. it's just devastating when like your own child does it to you, and it's all of a sudden it's just like when it happens, it's like oh, oh yeah, oh I was gosh. like. And my I'm child, <laughs> my spine, like, yeah. nothing to desertion. Do with <laughs> like, I was, I was super like that. Like I, I was, man. Like my family is more of a, my family is more of a like stoic family. Like mm-hmm. we, we, there's not a lot of outward. Mm-hmm. A lot of stuff in my family, you know. Yeah. We just, you know, we're just, just do your stuff. Like. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> right, right. And that's just that's just the way my family is. And so that added with the whole teenage factor. Mm-hmm. Like I'm pretty sure I was like super standoffish <laughs> uh, from my parents. He'll be lying to the room. <laughs> 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 yeah. So I, I hopefully, hopefully. Um, Hopefully, and my my personality has a lot to do with that too. I'm just such a like I was such a shy kid. I was mm-hmm. shy like adolescent. I was super shy, super. I was insecure and shy, so it was just like Don't I was to my room. I was like to my <laughs> room, McGee. Like I was just, <laughs> just to the room. So there was a quicker way he was gonna find it. Like, <laughs> <laughs> so hopefully, hopefully. Uh, Hopefully I can I can steer my little ones away from being like super like <laughs> get away from me. <laughs> Cuz I mean they won't say that but it's they'll like do I don't that. I feel like it's like it's more like a body language thing. Yeah, like, yeah. If 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 like a a child says that normally it's like more of like a s- extreme situation like they had like a bad day at school yeah. like something happened like oh snap like are you okay? Like you know like get away from me. It's just like <laughs> What just happened? Like, you know, (laughs) but it's like, I don't know. I feel like it just happens more the transition of just like, hey, how's it going? Mm -hmm. You get the head nod and you're just like, am I a stranger? Like, oh, (laughs) a single tear. All right. (laughs) Good talk. (laughs) Good talk, champ. (laughs) Or you just get like the, like the casual, like, how was your day? Good, good. <laughs> oh, really? Had a whole eventful day. They had a whole field trip. <laughs> like, went to Texas. You like got your, you got your, you got your back turned. You talking? How was your day? Good. You talking? So well, boom! You hear the door slam. I know. 
Ouch. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. I've been guilty of that. I have done that. <laughs> I have done that. Where it's literally just kind of like parents trying to have a whole conversation, and I am literally strategizing how to get out of it and get into my own space. <laughs> literally, like, it is It is a mental, it is a yeah. me- mental effort is given into it, trying to figure out what can I say to shut this conversation down so I can get back to my room and watch TV? Like, literally, it was and what it's happened. Like, it's like, you love them. <laughs> like, you, you love them. Yeah, like, the love that, is there. It's just, it's just like, I don't want to have this conversation. I, I don't you, feel like I talking. I just don't want to talk right now. <laughs> literally, I just don't want to talk to you. Like, it's, it's like not that all a hateful the, It's thing. like that all the time. Yeah, it's not a hateful <laughs> thing. I just, I'd literally rather not. be in my room. <laughs> like, literally. Like, <laughs> but then, like, the friends come around, and all of a sudden, it's like a, a complete personality shift oh, like yeah. all of a sudden it's like the introverted child that like they they stare at a screen for a living like becomes this extroverted like party plan yeah. planning like i don't know like personality and you're just like looking and you're just like <laughs> trying to figure out like who this person is and they're like making jokes and <laughs> you're just like wait they don't. They I don't, just slam the door. On I me. don't remember the last time I heard them laughing. Like, <laughs> <laughs> laugh. They can laugh. They can smile. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna. Ch- I guess I'll change gears a little. I'm still talking about kids. We're probably talking. This is gonna be a podcast for your commute. Like your commute home. Well, but, our battery's about to die, so we probably need oh, to. We probably need oh, to wrap it yeah, up. Probably. We could talk about this more later. We probably. Honestly, this is gonna be a we worship not leader. On talking this a worship long. leader and parenting <laughs> slash parenting podcast because. We hit we hit something. We yeah, this was this was a sore spot. On this one. <laughs> oh yes, the, the battery on the camera is about to die, so we, yes. we're gonna go ahead and wrap this one up. Yes. Uh, you got anything, Josh? Honestly, no. No. <laughs> Come bring it on down. <laughs> <laughs> All of the stuff you know. Uh, we're 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 everywhere. We're on Facebook. Uh, uh, check out our Instagrams. Check out Facebook, the Worship Leader Podcast. If you're, yes. uh, if go, you're a podcast person, we're on Apple Podcasts, Cast, uh, uh, Google Podcast, uh, Spotify, Stitcher, all of the just everything. So mm-hmm. go uh, go check it out. Download the ebook. It's free. Uh, hopefully, to help you, you know, it's, it's our desire to uh, to help people and and to to create a worship culture that mm-hmm. that is stronger everywhere you know because Mm -hmm. if 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 one person has some knowledge that they can share and and they share it then that's a win for the kingdom so yeah so we we just want to get the word out and kind of help help the worship culture everywhere uh so go do that and do all the things and we will see you in a couple of weeks it's been a fun episode uh we really enjoyed it uh so we'll see you next time take care peace peace